What's up? Seriously, what's up? I'm Sam with Beautiful Wreath. Thanks for stopping by. I tried filming earlier today and I was trying to film 4K on my new phone and I don't really know much about my new phone. And it stopped filming all the way, mm, halfway through. Was it halfway through? No. I was like three quarters of the way through. But nonetheless, if you're interested in seeing what I filmed earlier, I did a Facebook Live. So I was trying to do two things at the same time. I was trying to film for YouTube and film for Facebook Live. So, like I said, I'm Sam. I am the designer at Beautiful Wreath. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and turn on notifications and all the things. You can also catch me over on Facebook. I know it's because I'm old. Old people, y'all don't come for me. <laughs> I'm old. I'm one of y'all, okay? I'm not ageist. <laughs> It is what it is. Y'all can catch me on Facebook over there. I'm going to try to start doing more content here on YouTube. Today I am trying to finish up a couple of Mardi Gras wreaths. And if you're a crafter, welcome. If you're not a crafter, welcome to you too. I have already pre cut my 10 inch by 10 inch. 10 yards by 10 inch mesh into 20 inch strips, give or take. Uh, I, should probably, I should probably do this. Let me do this. I don't want a purple and green right next to each other. So I am going to preload our evergreen base because that's what I like to work on. I like to work on evergreen bases. Let's try to redo that. I really don't have any pattern on this wreath. I need a purple. Let's get another purple. We're just going to keep going, keep going, keep stuffing. I really probably need to just go ahead and use these last two pieces. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay. Okay. Everybody in the club getting tipsy. That used to be a song. I'm not getting tipsy in the club. Promise. Okay. Oops, sorry. Oh, that doesn't. Okay. Okay. I like it. So I need to go ahead and prepare my sign real quick. I don't know why I do that stuff with my mouth where I do like sounds, you know, like some people can't stand the noises with their hands or with their mouths. Can you stand that sound? Mm-hmm. 
come closer like this. Oh, rats. I didn't cut my ribbon yet. There I go, making those sounds again. I'm sorry. Sorry for my people. What is it called when you don't like the sounds with your mouth? Like if people chew loud or they sniff too many times, which I do. Y'all are going to hate me. Or they make those popping noises with their mouth or they smack their mouth. <laughs> what is it called when people don't like that? How cute is that? And next up, we're going to make our bow. So that's what I get for making all of those sounds with my mouth and being silly because for whatever reason, my microphone stopped recording or the audio stopped recording at this portion of the video. Keep in mind, this was about a 50 minute video that I've pared down to 14 minutes and 52 yeah, and you're gonna have enough for seconds. Tales of this one. So with that being said, I started making my bow here. You could see my mouth moving. I have two tails. And I'm talking, probably saying a whole bunch of nonsense, something that doesn't really matter. But I went ahead and layered all of my ribbons on top of each other to create this beautiful bow. And now I'm just attaching it to the back of the wreath. And we are going to work our way all the way around the wreath with our ribbon tails. I usually cut uh, the ribbon tails about 13 inches long and then dovetail them. I typically work on a flat surface whenever I'm putting in the ribbon tails before I start doing what I'm doing now when I'm stuffing all of the goodies in there. But, you know, I did what I did and it came out cute. So I was okay with that. Now I need to go ahead and add the mask. This one was a little bit trickier than all the others for whatever reason, I guess just because of the placement of the mesh and where I needed to attach the mask. And I'm still just working my way all the way around the wreath, stuffing it with all of the goodies that I have. Like And here I'm just uh, talking about a pro tip where if you buy a pick that is straight, very similar to this one, not to just put it in the wreath straight, but to actually bend and maneuver this pick in a fun way so that it doesn't look boring whenever you add it to your wreath.
And as you can see here, it looks like I am done. Here is the finished product, product, product and project. <laughs> Overall, I'm very happy with how it turned out. I have done multiple of these, of this style, Mardi Gras wreath this season alone. So it does take me less than an hour to do this particular style wreath, just because I've done so many so far this year. And I think they look stunning. I think they're amazing.